All right, so today we're going to take a look at my new dream desk setup for 2021. And if you stick around, you will have a chance to win my keyboard, mouse and monitor. So let's go. Okay, so let's start from the ground up with the actual desk that's supporting this setup. This is a two meter long piece of oak that I bought at a local wood shop. And then I just stained it and sanded it two times and that's it. Underneath the desk, we have two Odva legs that I put the desk or piece of wood on. And this is something that I might change in the future for like standing legs. So legs that can go up or down in height. For my monitors, I have two 27 inch 1080p curved Samsung monitors. And I like to go for 1080p since they're quite cheap today and I'm not that picky about the extra bit of sharpness that a 4K monitor could bring. And my main purpose for having the extra screen is just to allow me to have some things on there that I only use once every hour or less. And I don't know how well this argument actually holds up, but that's my feeling about two monitors versus one massive monitor. Then we have the monitor stand or arms, which is a max gaming monitor stand. And I don't know if this is a universal brand name. I've seen other people use it, so the design is probably not exclusive to Sweden at least. If you're trying to find it, I suggest looking in my description because there I will put links to everything that you see here. But yeah, not much to say here. I wanted something minimal that could handle two monitors. And for the computer that's powering the setup, I'm currently using the 2020 Dell XPS 15. And on this, I'm running a dual boot of Windows and Linux Exubuntu. I rarely use the Windows partition, but I need it in case I have to edit videos or photos. I'll be building a dedicated PC for this setup sometime in the near future, so subscribe if you want to see that. And also let me know what you think I should build. Next we have my keyboard, which I got sent to me a while back. It's not the best, but I really like the color scheme and the feel of it. There are some issues right now with the buttons not working on the Linux setup, but that could also be on me. Either way, it looks good, so that's all that matters. For my mouse, I chose to go with this vertical mouse by Logitech, which is something that a friend of mine suggested. Shout out to Philip, who doesn't really watch my videos, but anyway. The idea is that it keeps your wrist in a more neutral position so that it's better for your wrist and will cause less overuse injuries. At least, that's the idea. Underneath my mouse, I have this makeshift mouse pad, and it's actually a placemat that I got from this random furniture shop here in Sweden, but it works really well. And you actually have a chance to win my keyboard, mouse, and one of my monitors, thanks to today's video sponsor, X-Team, who actually wanted to collaborate with me on this video in order to give away some part of my desk setup, which is really cool, I think. So stick around and I'll let you know how you can enter to win. So X-Team is a community of remote developers that help companies scale their development teams. When you join X-Team, you gain access to job offers working on long-term projects for companies like Riot Games, Fox, Coinbase, and you get $2,500 per year to use towards activities and gear that help you stay energized and always growing. So they're genuinely a really cool company, which is why they wanted to create this giveaway of my personal favorite monitor, keyboard, and mouse. So to participate in the contest, all you need to do is write a comment with the hashtag XTeamLife. They'll choose a random winner from all the video comments, and this contest will run for a week. All right, now we get to the accessories of the desk or the decorations surrounding it, which before creating the setup, I thought were like the least important, but that I now realize are what actually makes your setup and especially makes it feel comfortable to spend time at. First, we have my little notebook, which is something that I always like to have on my desk setups. I use this notebook to write down ideas or to flesh out ideas. And I find that I get a better overview of my ideas if I see them on paper compared to seeing them on a computer screen. And this can also be used to solve problems when I'm programming or to just draw whenever I'm feeling inspired. Next to this, we have my shopping list looking notepad. And for some reason, I find that writing out my to-dos on an actual piece of paper and crossing them out is a lot more satisfying than doing it digitally. And it also feels a lot more intuitive. So therefore, I just have a shopping list type of notepad on my desk where I write out my to-dos for the day. The pen I use is just a random ink pen in green. And I like to choose decorative things with colors that feel natural, like the notebook and this pen. And then on my desk or with me at all times is a Hydro Flask water bottle that I use to hydrate myself. No, but uh, actually one of the best purchases that I made in 2020 was this thing. I was in Australia at the start of 2020 and having a water bottle like this that is able to maintain the temperature of the water inside was amazing. Before I was always just using regular plastic water bottles and the water would get hot in a matter of minutes. Plus the plastic particles will get into the water and that's not good for you. So the Hydro Flask is a great thing. 
Another thing that I have on my desk is also a wireless charging station, which is a must have today since my phone can charge that way and it makes it super simple to just put my phone on charge while I'm working. And then the final pieces of decorations are the paintings and the shelf which honestly to me is what makes this setup come together. I rarely put art up on my walls or even shelves, but I wanted to give it a try for this setup since I got this idea of something that I thought would look really good. So Leonardo da Vinci has always fascinated me and I've always liked to draw and so his sketches of the human body is something that has always appealed to me. And I think there's something so amazing about how he's able to use like very few lines in his sketches and yet you can clearly see what he's drawn. So for some reason his sketches just fascinate me. So I thought it would be a nice idea to hang one of the sketches up on my wall that I've admired the most, which is his drawing of a skull. But it felt a bit too empty with just that. So I decided to try to find another one that matched it, which ended up being his self-portrait sketch. And I'm super happy with how it turned out. I also had this idea of putting a shelf above the paintings with an LED strip underneath to light the artwork and then add some hanging plants there to add some life to the wall. And again, that turned out better than I thought it would. And this, along with the framed sketches, is now my favorite part of the setup. And it made the whole room feel so much more comfortable and welcoming to be in. So I highly recommend decorating your walls to increase the hominess feeling. And in case you're wondering, the LEDs are nothing really special. They're all some cheap brand. I just want this orange looking light. So I only really cared about if it was able to create that light or not. So I believe that these lights are made by Delta Co. And so, uh, yeah, that is my new desk setup. All right. And since I know that a lot of you guys will be asking like what desk chair I'm using, I didn't actually forget about that, but the desk chair that I'm using, I don't really know what it is because it's just this random chair that the previous occupants of this like warehouse that I'm in actually left here. And so I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's actually quite comfortable. And the ideal desk chair that I actually want for the space is going to be like a Herman Miller ocean blue type of desk chair that you can see here. And unfortunately, they don't ship it to Sweden, so that means that I can't really get it quite yet. But I'll try to figure out a way to get it somehow. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.